Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I've realized that in my past few videos I've been like super hyper and crazy when I introduce myself and during the whole video I'm like hey guys welcome I just feel like I'm on drugs so I just need to take a chill pill and calm the hell down So first of all excuse me for all the mess of my room I just wanted to change the angle up a little bit and also filming in my room with Artificial lighting I guess you can say because I haven't just haven't had time with uni and work So I haven't had time to film during daylight when the light is still shining I just wanted to share with you a Tiffany's item actually I've already opened this piece, but I just wanted to unbox it again with you guys on camera So I'll actually teach you guys how to tie this bow which I know like a lot of people are like I can never tie how the bow tie how they tie it at the store and everything But it's actually really easy and I just wanted to tell you guys how to do it So just you guys can just do it at home and just have it standing on your shelf and looking all pretty and everything But without further ado, let's open the blue bag So what you get in here is in an envelope so and then if you open it, you get a gift receipt. I uh, this is like I don't know if there's details on it or not. So it's just got this is up at the top. It's got the address. So it just says that on the top, and it's got the address and sales professional, and there's no pricing on it. And so just that. And that's a receipt. And in the bag is da -da -da -da, the famous. Blue box with the white ribbon. I'll show you guys how to tie it at the end of the video like I told you. So you'll just open it like this. And then reveal the box. I really, really love this auto focusing. It's so clear. I'm so in love. Anyway, um, so you got that and then you open it. And it's in a box with foaming and then it's got the little pouch on it so those are for your sterling silver pieces that's what um tiffany's will put it in however i do have a separate one this is my one and only piece that comes in a blue not blue this is blue it's freaking black what's wrong with me anyway a black felt box and if i open it if you can see so this is the diamonds by the yard in sterling silver and up the top here it says Tiffany and Co. So beautiful. So this one, um, the carat weight is 0 0.05. So I took it out and I have it on an 18 inch chain. I probably actually like it better on a 16 inch chain just because it's such a small dainty diamond that if I wear it on my neck, it gets a bit lost if it's on a... 18 inch chain so I do I don't know if I can get it changed but I wish I could have it on a 16 so this one is called diamonds by the yard so this one's part of the Elsa Paredes collection and I'll just put it on to show you guys what it looks like but this is where an 18 inch chain would sit on me so as you can see it's really long so I don't, and it's such a fine diamond I kind of don't like it sitting that low I'd rather it sit higher up like this or if you're just on bare skin it's really pretty when you have it just between your collarbone so that's if I got a 16 inch one that's where it would sit and that's just what it looks like this is my brand new necklace and I am totally totally in love with it so pretty and the retail price for this one in Australia is $645. At the start of the video, I'll show you guys how to tie uh, the bow. So what will you do is I will hold the box sideways like this and then I will put the ribbon like so on the side, take it from the back and bring it forward. Just pull that one. And then with this piece, what you'll do, you have your thumb holding that middle section, so it's just like that on the back. So you have that and you'll loop this around and bring it back up to the front. Keep holding on with that one. And then this, can you see this this hole here, what you would do is put this ribbon underneath both of them and make it come out this way. So you pull, still holding on, and you pull up. So what that creates is this crossbow in the middle and you just pull tight and on the back it should be like flat. So like that. And next you will make a little bunny ear and then you will loop this one over. It's a bit hard doing it in mid-air. So I normally do it on a table. And then what you do is bring this one over and just tie a bow and bring that one up. Like so. 
I do it this way because what should happen is, if you can see, the chicken curry is so the box stands this way. What you want is this bow to be the same way. So you don't want the bow to be like this, like that. Although I sometimes like that looks better. But what you want is the bow to be facing the same way as the box should. So just tighten that knot. And what else you want to do is to make it more voluminous and look prettier like a tippy bow. And what you will do is just pull up that. And jump. So easy to plump up the ribbon. Just do that. So what would you what you would do? So you can leave it like this, so it's so perfect. So what you would do, you can either cut it shorter like that and make it fit in the box, or you can make it smaller. But basically that's what it looks like. So it's just a cross. And that's the bow. So thank you so much for joining me today with my opening of my Diamonds by the Yard necklace. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Tiffany's is definitely one of my favorite jewelry brands and that's because I may or may not have bias for personal reasons of why it's my favorite. But I hope you guys enjoy watching and don't forget to give it a thumbs up. So I know I'm sorry for being missing in action for so long just because I've been caught up with all these other different work commitments and uni commitments and exams and things. I just want to thank you guys so much for subscribing and liking and just giving me continuous support. I really appreciate it. See you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Peace.